Hi everyone, welcome to Make2. In this video, we'll tell you all you need to know about building with mezzanines in The Sims Free Play. Thanks to EA and FireMonkeys for giving us early access to the latest update which unlocks mezzanines so we can share these tips with you. Okay, let's break mezzanines, or indoor balconies if you prefer, into three parts. First, how do you unlock mezzanines in your game? You need to 1. Be at level 17 or above in the game. 2. Complete all the standard quests in the game up to and including the multi-story renovation quest. This lets you build houses on more than one level, kind of necessary for building mezzanines between two levels, right? 3. Complete the All Mezzed Up Discovery Quest, which will become available April 2nd or 3rd, 2018, depending on your time zone. With mezzanines unlocked, let's get to the fun part, building. To build a mezzanine, you need to have a house that is on at least two floors. This can be a first floor and a second floor, or a first floor and a basement, or any other combination. You then need two rooms, one on top of the other. The rooms can be at any size, even just one by two squares. They don't need to be the same size or anything, as long as the one above overlaps the one below by an area that's at least one by two squares. So in other words, the two rooms need to have at least two squares in common. And don't try drawing a mezzanine on an empty part of the floor, it won't work. It has to be inside an actual room. To build the mezzanine, make sure you are on the upper floor. Then go to the home store, tap the mezzanine tab right here, then draw your mezzanine. This works in the same way as drawing patios. As you can see, it's really easy to see where the rooms are on the lower floor. So, as long as the mezzanine fits in both the room on the upper floor, the one you're drawing it in, and the room below, you're good. Apart from that requirement, your mezzanine can fill the whole of the room below or the room you built it in. You can build it right to the edge of a room or touching the outside wall of the building. You can also build mezzanines on top of mezzanines, so you could, if you really, really want to, make a hole in a building six floors high just with mezzanines. You can also build multiple mezzanines in the same room. This lets you create all sorts of cool shapes and works the same way as patios or balconies do. As mezzanines touch, they can combine into larger mezzanine areas. This is a super cool feature because this is the first time ever we can make rooms kind of have weird shapes. The room is still really its original shape, but it feels really different because the floor is now a strain shape and it's all a single room. Just like balconies, mezzanines have to have railings. Safety first. To change the railing, tap on the railings tab in the home store. There are some extra limits to the rules about building mezzanines. These only apply when building separate mezzanines in different rooms on the same floor. So as you can see here, if you've got a mezzanine in one room and want to draw another one in the room next door, you can, no problem. But if you try to build one mezzanine touching the one in the next room, it won't work. Their corners can't even touch. Other than that, looks like sky's the limit. Now let's get to the third and less fun part, price. They're hella expensive. Currently they're cheaper than balconies, but more expensive than patios. That makes some sense I guess, but it's a real shame they cost so much, as it's going to limit the fun we can have with them. Ok, that wraps up this mezzanine tutorial. We're having fun building with them, so look out for our house tours. Did we miss any tips or ideas about mezzanines? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Freeplay, mezzanines included, on the way. Thanks for watching.